Hi everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you have been here before. Today you guys I am showing you a couple more pieces that I got for the house. So I'm doing a H&M home haul. I have recently shared quite a big H&M and Zara home haul. So I bought quite a few things in lockdown for the house and I have been enjoying doing that. Also my lips feel a little bit dry so I'm just gonna put some lip balm on. It's just a random act that defines me quite well but lip balm is needed. That's better. So I ordered a few more pieces because obviously H&M Home now knows that I'm a bit of an addict and now they send me an email at least once a week. At least once a week. And I am that person who does open marketing emails and then I open them and I see something and that's where it starts but that is certainly not where it ends because I might start with um, a little coaster and then I ended up buying a rug. So this is how just things go. This is how my life goes. Starts with something small, ends up being huge. So I ordered a few more things. So here I am again showing you all of them because I know you guys enjoy it. A lot of you guys ended up buying quite a few things from my last haul so maybe you will spot something that you like this time. For example I am sitting here and sipping my tea out of one of the mugs that I showed you last time and I have been literally attached to this cup like I don't want to share it with anybody. I don't allow anybody to use this mug. I get it quite attached and personal with my mugs actually. So I love it. It's just a perfect big size for me to drink tea out of um, because sometimes I will put my tea bag in, I will leave my tea to brew, then I forget that I made a tea. Three hours later I come back to that tea and drink it cold. Like this is what happens um, but I also do like a big bucket of tea. That's what I like. So uh, let's dive in and I'll show you what I have. The first and the biggest item that I have is a vase. Oh it's a little bit heavy but this is it. I am absolutely in love with it. Also if you kind of do this to it, it makes a really nice sound inside. You know when they tell you to put a shell to your ear to hear the sea? This is kind of the same. I can hear the sea. I can't hear the sea, but I can hear some lovely noises. So this is the beautiful vase. It's quite big. I was after a big vase where I can put a big bouquet of flowers because I own a lot of smaller vases and also a lot of narrow vases, really narrow vases. So when I get a big bouquet of flowers, I actually have nowhere to put it and I end up using some kind of weird jars and, and weird, weird vessels. So I was after a bigger vase. It's not that big on top. It could be wider. So yeah, I think I'm still working on a wider, bigger vase in that department. There are gaps in that department, let's just put it like this. But I absolutely love it. I just love like this wavy, gorgeous design and this kind of stoneware design to it. I'm going to get my order up just so I can let you know how much the vase was. Okay, so I actually think I had a few different orders. I thought it was one big order. Clearly not. And um, by the way, I have a new haircut. I got myself a little bit of a fringe again. It's still a long fringe, so I kind of push it to the side. And I got a new balayage done and I am quite in love with my hair. Let me know guys what you think, but I do really like it. I'm quite feeling the fringe at the moment. So the vase was $24.99. I think that's not a bad price at all. I really, really like it. Obviously, I do love buying independent local things as much as I can and um, it's always a very difficult controversial topic when you constantly buy for big brands and kind of support big brands um, and I I hear you I, I hear you and I see you people who point that out I do shop both I go to a lot of smaller independent shops that we have here and anytime we travel, uh, I always try to go to small independent shops. Um, but yes, I am a total sucker for a good price. And um, H&M managed to 
give you things that look very much designer or very unique or ripped off from somebody else for a much cheaper price and um, yeah it's a difficult topic and I understand that there is controversial views on that and I hear you and I try to do my best um, but sometimes I fail I'm just a human and yeah I like a beautiful looking thing so I really like this vase so I will leave the link to it below I believe it is still available online it looks really really pretty in this room as well just kind of blends in with all the stone and natural colors that I have in this room then um speaking of natural colors I got this which is a wooden plant pot and I was after something for herbs because I wanted a wooden plum pot that I could put maybe in the kitchen and this is made out of mango wood and I really love it I mean it's 100% wood and it's just a very simple plant pot um, but I wanted something that looked natural and it's a perfect size for even you know the herbs that you buy in the store like if you grab a pot of basil or thyme or something like this this is a really perfect size for them so I wanted to show you that as well this was $8.99 and I know that this, they do these ones in three different sizes at least they did then so they have the bigger plant pots for that as well but I like it I really love the color so this is definitely going into the kitchen I have a few other wooden items actually for the kitchen that I got I got this cute little small um, mango um, a mango wood plate this is pretty useless as it looks, but if you follow me on Instagram, I do a lot of pictures of my food, I share recipes, um, so check it out if you're interested in some recipes. And I like um, to style my food and my pictures with little different texture and different um, colors um so you will see that in my pictures you know sometimes i will just have a little wooden spoon or something like that a zesta or something just something it's the little things for me that make the pictures and it's the fabrics like the linens etc so this is kind of a perfect one but also it's just a really nice plate for a snack or something like that it'll be a coaster for something so you can use it different ways and h&m do these plates in different sizes as well so they do um play plates like proper um, like dining plates in this um, material too and um, then I also got a little candle holder so it's a tea light holder um, but at the moment I'm actually keeping my earrings in here but I just really really love this kind of retro uh, style of it it's all like ribbed and it's this beautiful pale pink color and you just put a tea light inside and I really like it it's been standing in my bedroom but I'm actually keeping some um, golden earrings in here and I like to do things Things like that it's the same with this wooden pot if you want it and if it fits into your interior maybe in your bathroom you could use it as a soap dish you could use it for your jewelry you can use it as a stand for a bigger candle or something like this just kind of think outside of the box don't go with what it says on the name tag so yeah I really really love that again they do this in a few different colors and they do different candles in this kind of pale pink shade so if you wanted for example to have a few different candles standing next to each other then definitely have a look at H&M $3.99 so a really good price point for something like this and by the way the little wooden dish was $3.99 as well so cute little things for not a lot of money continuing with candles actually I got another candle which is quite interesting this is how the candle looks. Yes, I know. So the candle is inside. It's a two week candle, but I mean, I just couldn't resist. I don't know. Like it looks so cool when you put it on a shelf. They have a few different candles in this kind of style. Uh, and they have like a whole half head that is a plant pot. They have like a body, you know, without a head, like a torso um, as well. I think it's a vase or a candle um holder I'm not sure um but I just thought it was so cool like I don't know when the candle burns you could use this as a vase and that will look so cool as well so I couldn't resist this was $12.99 I think um and it's just a ceramic holder and then inside it's um I think it's an 
jasmine scented wax so we'll see how much scent it has i have to say that in the past um every candle scented candle that i got from h&m produced no aroma whatsoever they always look very pretty so i would recommend them as a design piece or as a part of your interior but if you are after a scented candle go somewhere like joe malone or neom um or espa or something like that don't bother with scented candles from H&M. Here I'm definitely going for the design of it rather than the scent. So I thought it was cool. Moving on, I've got a couple of coasters uh, which are just a little woven rattan coasters and again you might have noticed there is definitely a theme to anything that I buy for the kitchen. Um, it's a lot of natural colors, a lot of natural fabrics, you know, even if I put a mug like this on this, it kind of looks cute, you know? It all kind of makes sense, at least to me, in my head. My head is an interesting place. It's a messy place, but it's an interesting place to be in. So um, there is a set of four coasters and they come with this little like tie that you can put them together um, with. I don't know how useful that is. I don't know if I will even use it, but um, if you are keeping them somewhere on display, um, you know, it's the little finishing touches that kind of make sense. So um, I do like a coaster, especially if you have any kind of scratching surfaces like glass or maybe marble. Um, it's a good uh, good thing to have. And the coasters were $6.99. And I got, I got a few other things for the kitchen so I got this wooden crates that are made of mango wood as well I got it in this size and I also got it in a smaller flatter size so I will include a video of of them actually being in the kitchen so in there I keep the dish soap I keep a spray for the surfaces and I use a hand soap in there as well and then in the other tray I have oils and vinegars and stuff like that maybe a bottle of wine um, and they just look really nice and just keep everything quite nice and neat um, as far as organization in the kitchen goes. They are quite wide as well so you could keep um, fruit here or veg but you could also put some plants in here. For example if you're doing herbs you could put three maybe pots in here of herbs and have them standing somewhere. So I really like these for that reason. Got two more items. One is a little mug. Like I just keep buying this little random mugs that don't fit with each other but I just appreciate a good mug and this one just caught me by its color it's this beautiful deep orange like caramel color and when you know what this is such a weird way to explain why you buy a mug but when I saw it online I just imagined sunset and the light hitting the apartment and holding that mug against a white wall when the sun is hitting it and the reflection I would see on a wall. I sound like a total romantic and maybe somewhere deep inside I am, um, but little things like that make me really happy. Just a reflection on a wall of the pampas grass that I have in the bedroom makes me really happy actually. So it just brings me like really nice warm feelings and this is how I felt about this mug. So I bought it um, and it's very nice kind of not too thick glass. I don't actually know how well it holds hot liquid. I haven't actually had anything out of it yet. Um, it's just been sitting there and looking pretty but I love it. It's a shame it didn't come with a with a little dish. I wish they did more mugs with dishes. It's kind of a little bit irritating that they don't do that um, because I would love a little dish for this mug as well. I think that would look really pretty too but the mug itself was $6.99. That's it, $6.99. And then the last thing I have is some wine glasses. I have always been that weird person and who has really strange kind of weird wine glasses. I don't even know where I got them from. So I was like, right, I need to get at least two nice wine glasses. So I went for these from H&M and they're like a really light black, dark gray color. So obviously if you are the person who likes to see the color of the wine and you know, you're a bit of a sommelier, yourself and um, then definitely go for clear glasses. I definitely go for useless design things that make no sense but 
I like the look of these and I got two of them and I really really love the shape of them. I like that they are wider glass if you like to hold your wine glasses like this. It's a nice um, just cup you know it kind of you can cup it quite nicely. I quite enjoy that. I don't like small wine glasses. So it says that I got two and it says $7.98 so I'm guessing that's price for both of them. I think that's what it is. So they weren't very expensive at all, but I just like the wine glass. And I think that is it as far as the things that I bought go. I might have forgotten something because I've kind of already placed things around the house, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. And again, I will leave the links to everything that I showed you and if it's still available online in the description box below. And if you have any questions, if you have any videos you want me to film, let me know. I hope you're all well. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I love you all very much. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet and I will see you guys very very soon in my next video. Bye!